show that log base a b is equal to 1 divided by log base b a. In part 2, show that 1 divided by log base a x plus 1 divided by log base b x plus 1 divided by log base c x is equal to log base x a b c. Okay, so starting with number 1, show that log base AB is equal to 1 divided by log base BA. So we are going to use law 5, which is the change of base law, to help us with this question. So law 5 says log base AX is equal to log base BX divided by log base BA. So this is called the change of base law because the base, which starts off as an A, becomes a b. So we start with log base a x and that becomes log base b x divided by log base b a. So the a swaps for a b and we have a numerator and a denominator. Next, whatever number we had in place of the x, that goes into our numerator and whatever our base was, that goes into our denominator as our new number beside our base. So the x goes into the numerator, the a goes into the denominator, and both the numerator and the denominator are now log base b. So if we use this rule to rewrite log base ab, we're going to first of all have log base b something divided by log base b something. So all I've done first of all is swap the a, the base of a, for a base of b in my numerator and my denominator. Then what I have to do is bring the b into my numerator as the new number beside my base and then bring the a into my denominator as the new number beside my base. So again if we just have a look at our law number five the x comes up into the numerator as the number beside the new base. So the x comes into the numerator. So in this case, the b, not the x, the b comes up into the numerator beside the new base. So the x came up into the numerator and the b now comes up into the numerator. So now we're going to bring the base of a into the denominator. And in this case, it's also an a. We're going to bring the base of a into the denominator. And then the only other thing that changes is we originally had a log base of A and that's now going to be log base of B in both the numerator and the denominator. And that again is the same in our formula. So log base A is now log base B divided by log base B. So the X goes into the numerator, in this case the B goes into the numerator, and the base A goes into the denominator, the base A goes into the denominator, and then the log base A swaps for log base B for numerator and denominator. And the log base A swaps for log base B for numerator and denominator. Now that's probably the trickiest of um, our laws of logs. Um, but you are given this formula in the exam. Now the only other thing that we have to do in this question is rewrite our numerator, which is log base BB, for 1. And in this case, we're following law 4. Law 4 tells us that log base AA is going to be equal to 1. So basically, if you have a log on any number, or letter in this case, as our base, if it's got the same number or letter attached beside it, then you're always going to get 1. So the same letter or same number will give you 1. So a couple more examples of that would be log base 10, 10 will give us 1, log base 6, 6 will give us 1, log j, base j, j would give us 1, etc. So log base bb will give us 1, and the denominator just stays the same, log base ba stays as it is. And now we have shown that log base ab is equal to 1 over log base ba. So log base AB is equal to 1 over log base BA. So in part 2, we want to show that 1 divided by log base AX plus 1 divided by log base BX 
plus 1 divided by log base CX is equal to log base X ABC. So we're going to use part 1 to work this question out. And in part 1 we showed that log base AB is equal to 1 divided by log base BA. So we've already proved this. And if we look closely at this, we can actually see that what's happening is the log base AB changes to 1 over log base BA. So the B and the A have swapped places and we just have 1 over. So log base AB becomes 1 over log base BA. So we just flip around the A and the B and we have 1 over. So we're going to rewrite each of these fractions in the form of log base AB. So 1 over log base AX, we're going to flip the X and the A and get rid of the 1 over to give us log base XA. 1 over log base BX, we're going to get rid of the 1 over and flip the X and the B. And we get log base XB. And then 1 divided by log base CX we're, again, we're going to get rid of the 1 over and swap the C and the X and get log base XC. So then all we have to do is put pluses in between them because we had this plus this plus this. So we've rewritten each of those fractions and now we just put a plus sign in between. Now we know from law 1 of logs that log base A X times Y gives us log base A X plus log base A Y. So we're going to use this law of logs, but in reverse. So we're going from log base AX plus log base AY to log base AX multiplied by Y. Now obviously we don't have X's and Y's. In this case we have A, B's and C's. So the plus becomes multiply and we get log base X multiplied by A times B times C. And we know when we're multiplying variables, we just stick them together. So A times B times C gives us ABC. So this simplifies to log base X ABC.